Hi, so welcome back. This is my second video on my new uh, 2021 F-150 uh, with the five liter V8. Uh, so I got the two kilowatt uh, built-in generator uh, in my truck. I used it once while camping now with my uh, with my two sons. I got a little cold at night. Uh, so we plugged the heater in just as a, a test uh, in the tent to see what it, uh, what it did, how it worked. Uh, so it worked quite well. Uh, but unlike with the uh, 3.5 uh, hybrid, the 2.4 and the 7.2 kilowatt uh, generator for Ford gives an estimate on runtime. I haven't been able to find that for the two kilowatt on the five liter. Uh, so I'm gonna do a test today, uh, figure out uh, how much gas it uses at around uh, max power. Uh, and then we'll be able to calculate approximate runtime. I also know how much gas and how much it's costing me to uh, to run a heater in the truck. So, so I've just been to the gas station and come home. I filled it right up uh, to stop. I didn't top it off, so we can uh, do that again at the end. Uh, so it's about 2.3 kilometers from the gas station to here, uh, with an average uh, fuel economy of 15.5 liters per hundred kilometers. I'll convert all this to uh, miles and miles per gallon uh later on uh in the video uh but for now i'm going to use that uh to calculate how much gas it took me to get to and from the gas station and then the balance of what i need to fill up later will be what the truck used while idling here in the driveway running the generator and uh, from that i'll be able to figure out how much uh it's uh how much it uses per hour Okay, so we're going to get the truck started up, uh, turn on the Pro Power on board, and uh, get stuff plugged in in the back, and uh, let it sit then for two hours. Okay, so the truck's on. I do not have anything plugged in yet, but I have the uh, Pro Power on board menu selected here. Uh, I'm going to put it in generator mode. I uh, guess you need to make sure you're running it outside, not in your garage. Okay, so it's ready to go. I noticed the truck. Uh, the idle kicked up a little bit uh, so I have the turn off the heated seats I have the HVAC off I'm going to turn the screen off here during the test as well so that nothing's running at all in the truck aside from the, the generator okay, so it, we don't skew the results and we'll get stuff plugged in the back and uh, we'll go from there Right, so as I said, I have the uh, two kilowatt uh, option in the truck here. And so it has the two household uh, 110 volt plugs. Uh, so for the test, I'm going to be using a uh, little portable heater here. I believe it's about 1500 watts, uh, but we'll see on the screen once I get it plugged in. And then uh, just to max it out, I'm gonna turn on the uh, halogen light here as well, uh, just to give the full, full two kilowatt experience. Okay, so I have the heater plugged in and running. It's showing uh, zero degrees Celsius out here at 32 Fahrenheit. Uh, so great day for the heater. Although it's just in the garage, so I'm not sure uh, what value it's actually gonna have, but that's uh, gonna be a test. Uh, so I got it plugged in. Uh, so the, right now it looks like we're using 1300 watts just for the heater. Uh, so as I said, I'm gonna plug in the, uh, the halogen lamp too, just to really give this a test. Okay, so we got the light plugged in too. Oh, and that looks like it, uh, that pushed it over power and it's dropped right down. So, light is unplugged. We're just going to go back to the heater. I need to reset it here. Okay, heater's off, so we've got to turn the heater back on and get it restarted. Okay, so we have the heater back on. Uh, the light was too much for it. It, uh, it shut the system down. Uh, so we're just gonna go with 1200, 1300 watts, uh, which is, I guess, nearly two thirds of the max power of the generator. And that's how we're gonna run the, the test. I'm not sure I have anything else to, uh, to plug in that will balance that out, so. So as you can see, it is 1.30 today. Oh, the clock just went off, 1.30. So at 3.30, we'll turn off the truck. So at 3.30, we're gonna turn off the truck. That'll be two hours. And drive it back to the gas station, fill up, and uh, then figure out how much gas we used. 
So I know I said that I couldn't uh, run the light and the heater at the same time, but to give it a little more of a challenge, uh, I've also plugged in my uh, TV out here in the garage. I've got some lights uh, up on the ceiling running on it as well. Uh, still, if we look at the power meter, it's only about uh, oh, 14, 1500 watts. So still not maxed out, but at least it gives it a little more of a challenge and maybe something that you'd experience while you're camping if you're running a TV and a heater or, uh, or tailgating. So again, see you in about two hours and uh, we'll see what the results were. Okay, so here we are, it's two hours later. It's uh, 3.30 now. Uh, the truck has ran just fine the whole time. The heater actually heated up my, or warmed up my garage a little bit, uh, enough for me to do some work out there. Uh, I did just turn off the TV uh, and lights uh, right before I uh, started filming again. So it's down to 1300 watts, but it was at 14 to 15 the, uh, the whole time. Uh, so as you can see, we're still plugged in there. Uh, and I'm going to go in the truck now and shut it off. And then we'll head to the gas station and fill it up. Uh, so as you can see, uh, we're still at 1300 watts in here. Uh, as I mentioned, it was at 14 to 1500 watts uh, throughout the whole test with the lights and the TV on, but I just uh, turned those off. So just for curiosity, the, uh, or for interest, the uh, truck seems to be idling at about a thousand. I'll, uh, once I turn off the, I guess we can turn it off right now. So we'll turn off uh, generator mode and we'll just turn the whole thing right off. So everything's shut down. The truck is slowly idling down a bit more here. Uh, back to its normal idle. Looks like uh, maybe 600 RPM. Uh, as you can see, because I've only traveled 2.3 kilometers on this tank, uh, it's done terrible things to my fuel economy. Uh, but we'll figure what that, uh, what that ends up being uh, after we fill up. Uh, there's no noticeable difference on the fuel gauge, which after two hours, I didn't really expect that. Uh, anyways, so I'm going to go to the gas station, then we'll uh, check in again. Alright, so we've just been to the gas station. We had uh, 4.6 kilometers to get here and back. Uh, took a total of uh, 5.964 liters. Uh, so with our fuel economy on the way to and from at 15.5 liters per hundred kilometers uh, and 4.6 uh, kilometers total. Uh, so we used 0.713 liters driving to and from the gas station. So uh, we're going to stop the video, do some calculations. Actually, we'll just do it right now. Uh, so 7.13 or 0.713, so 5.964, which is our total, minus 0.713, is 5.25 liters for the two hours of running, or 2.6 liters per hour. So there we have it. 2.6 liters per hour running at uh, 14 to 1500 watts, which was 70% of its max uh, potential. Uh, so there we go, 2.6 liters and 4 gallons, that's 0.69 gallons uh, per hour to run the generator, the 2K, 2 kilowatt generator uh, off the back of your F-150, so that's with the 5 liter V8 engine. Uh, I'll put these numbers in the description, so maybe you don't have to watch the video this far. Uh, or if you need to uh, just check it. So there you have it. So it's not over yet. On the way back from the gas station, I figured that uh, the other important thing to know is uh, how long you can run your truck then with the generator running. So based on our consumption that we just calculated uh, and 136 liter tank uh, to run it bone dry, uh, you could run it for just under 52 hours. Obviously you wouldn't run your truck right out of gas. And I'm pretty sure I remember reading in the manual that uh, the truck has a, a feature that will shut it down if you uh, before you run out of gas, probably at the point that your your oil or your uh, your fuel light normally comes on. So 52 hours max run time, right to empty. Uh, so maybe let's say 48 hours of reasonable use uh, that would get you two full days if you needed to in a power outage or uh, camping. You could run it many days overnight to power your your trailer or your heater so there you go uh hopefully this was helpful for you and if you like it please give me a thumbs up 
I'd say subscribe, but I only have two videos so far, so you can subscribe and be one of the uh, the early adopters. So anyway, thank you. If you have any questions, or uh, especially about the uh, two kilowatts uh, pro power on board, I would love to answer them. I know there's not a lot of information out there yet. So thanks for watching.